need to go, but I'm going to go to the store. It's like a penny social in there anyway. Wow, they got all sorts of things for sale, like ballpoint pens and milk. And though these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Mummy D. Planning to settle down already? Damn it. Yuya! I should have, I, I knew it. I had a, really, I really had a feeling it was here. No, no, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so. But you know we dubs reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. Well, I think we might have just figured out who the fast, the fast mover is, maybe. We already got that sort of semi-awkward, hint, hint, wink, wink kind of dialogue here. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. That... My... That's not... We're not... I'm not good enough? Oh well, I'll have to try again later. This is how he talks to every girl he meets? God. I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. Not like it's surprising coming from him. I'll let it slide. Let it slide. Today's an elective day, yeah. What should, what should I do? I'm going to attend. Let's do another math class, shall we? I will find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. Woo! And now we can draw a line perpendicular to the uh, is this math class or not time. Like a Judd Nelson fist fist pump. Yeah. Leveled up again. Yeah. Wisdom increased by five. Yes. So now I've got a wisdom of 21. Um, back home. Today is Tanabata. Probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. And with that, I have no clue uh, what Tanabata is. I'm actually curious, though. So, since we are at an interesting crossroads anyways, let me get an idea of what the hell Tanabata is. Aha. I see. So, uh, Tanabata is a festival. It's a uh, star festival. Evening of the 7th is a little English translation of it. Um, it originates from the Chinese Kishi Festival. Um, it celebrates the meeting in deities, or meeting of the deities, Orihime and Hikoboshi, represented by the stars Vega and Altair, respectively. Um, according to the legend, the Milky Way separates these lovers, and they are allowed to meet only once a year on the seventh day of the seventh lunar month of the lunar solar, solar calendar. The date of Tanabata varies by region of the country, but the first festivities begin on July 7th, that's the seventh day of the seventh month of the Gregorian calendar. Uh, the celebration itself, apparently, however, is held at various days between July and August. Uh, it was imported to Japan uh, by the Empress Koken in 755. Uh, it originated from the festival to plead for skills, an alternative name for Kishi, uh, which was celebrated in China and was also adapted into the Kyoto Imperial Palace from the Heian period, or Heian period, excuse me. Um, Basically, it sounds like an excuse to go on a romantic date, and I am nothing. I tell you, nothing. I tell you, nothing turns me into a bowl of soup quicker than the idea of a star-crossed date under the Milky Way. That's that just that sounds just wonderful. Um, sounds wonderful to me. So, uh, Tanabata. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, Monami. Signed, Yuya. Morning conference on 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time, Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day. Remember! 
What should I wish for? What the hell kind of choices are these? Holy crap, like this just went like straight up psychotic. It's like two options are for the sociopath. And then and then the other one's kind of like semi-selfish, but a little bit, yeah. I don't know. Um, conquer the world by force. Rule the world from the shadows. Become a famous artist. Um, well, I suppose, well, it's like the difference is, I guess I could say, conquer the world by force, I guess it'd be Hitler. Rule the world from the shadows, so I'm the Illuminati. And... And then, I could become a famous artist. I mean, one or two, world dominant. Okay, well, but do I want to rule it in public or from the shadows? Again, do I want to be Hitler or do I want to be puppet master? You know, that's, because I really don't want to be an artist. That's a shitty degree to get. Anybody who wants to get an art, <laughs> art degree, good lord, what a waste. Um, but, but, uh, Illuminati. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, I, yeah, I'm gonna go rule, from, rule the world from the shadows. I, I wish to take the re Oh my god. Jesus. Um, I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Kazuaki. Oh, hello, is that you, Bynum? Oh my god, here it comes. Yes! The, my teacher is my date, yes. Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this lake. Be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Oh my god! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! Cause of this and it! You're making me blush, goodness gracious. Okay, um. Okay, so. Alright, so we're at a very. Very, very, very important crossroads here because we, I think we've kind of blown it on, um, I think we've kind of blown it on the, on the bookworm. I'm pretty sure because we, we really haven't interacted with him but once and it didn't really go that well. Um, and then we dealt with Yuya and, and Yuya's interesting but he, again, he's that short term game. Now this is the ultimate form of the long term game because technically speaking, um, you know, I might not actually be able to legally date or marry him for a sophomore in high school. So probably not for another three years, maybe two years, if if they're you know if they're progressive. Um, so he's offering to take me home. Oh, I hope it starts raining. This is just already the most romantic evening I've ever had. Yes, please. All right. He's very, very modest, too. He's very, very modest. Mr. Tanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually at my horrible empty cave. Your house is very rustic, Barnum. I like it this way. Wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. You know, he puts up a strong front, but really on the inside he's crying. I know a lot of people like that. And as, a, and as an aside, seriously... If you ever, if you ever come into a situation where a bird you're caring about, a bird that you do care about, is hiding in emotional stress or a severe depression, is, is introverted or clamming up, don't do like my protagonist did in this in this game, ask the bird a question. Ask them how they're feeling, how they're really feeling. That could mean the difference between a good day for that bird and a terrible year. So always keep that in mind. 
So he left a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Because now we have the misleading narration, um, which, to make a point, um, this is actually an interesting concept, uh, visual novels, um, in terms of the fact that they uh, do rely on a sort of internal and, to some degree, external narration by your main character, your protagonist. Um, the not necessarily the problem, but more of the stylistic choice there, is that to a certain degree, the events that you are experiencing um, in game, the narrative events, the character beats, uh, the dialogue choices here and there, um, a lot of it is actually skewed to some degree. A, by the actual writers of the visual novel in question, and B, by the fact that this is actually being presented not necessarily through you. You're not literally you know, one-to-one, -one, you know, in interjecting into the story. Um, if anything, you're simply making what almost comes off as arbitrary A, B, C, multiple choice answered, you know, attempts. Uh, and then your character will then respond or say something or will, will iterate on what you just decided as it were. Um, and I, I'm, not, I'm not saying this game necessarily does that. Um, I, I think this little dialogue is, little dialogue here, the, or was it just my imagination? I think it's just kind of an interesting little example of it. It's a very minor example, though. It's, it, there are, from what I understand, um, uh, several examples within the uh, visual novel uh, genre that actually, that actually do depend and or, um, you know, center around this concept of a skewed perspective due to the, uh, due to the narration or uh, the um, the dialogue of the protagonist character. Uh, so, th with that aside, um, or was it just my imagination? We shall. I suppose we'll find out. I I hope we do, because uh, it is. It's very very interesting little thing. Now. Today's an elected day. What should I do? Well, you know, I've done math twice now. Um, I haven't done gym class at all. So, I'm thinking, I think we might, we might want to balance this out a bit. We've got two in, two in wisdom, one in charisma, and now we're going to have one, uh, one decent little level up in um, vitality. So, uh, Rock Dub is wiggling about on the surface of the water, advancing neither forwards nor backwards. Exciting stuff. You can't swim, Ryosen? I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. They're leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Which is really weird, too. Um, I did gym. Yes, I did. I did gym. Um, no, I got my finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Find them. Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Blushing the whole time I'm saying. Yes. So what's next? This is this is absolutely like today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Yeah, because again, I I think I picked library as a as a as an after school activity what, an hour and a half ago, and we've had literally one experience in said library? Really weird how this school works. It's as though, it's as though my character, I'm, I guess by the very nature that they're a human, um, just does not give a shit about the fact that, like, you know, there's more to life than just trying to get your teacher to bone you. Moving on. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are fewer birds in here than usual. Even fewer birds in here than usual, excuse me, just to emphasize that. <clears throat> Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. No shit. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Nageki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nugget? Please be quiet in the library. Hello. You're rather noisy today. Did you want some?